Hi everyone, I'm Barbara Yang from China. Uh, I was a journalist for a Hong Kong newspaper. So um, first of all, Monica, tell me what day is today? <laughs> May 17th. May 17th. This is also the day, the international day against homophobia, transphobia, and biphobia. So let's talk about LGBT tonight. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm doing a social media startup, Pink Power, focusing on the LGBT market in China. Well, you may be wondering if it's legal to be a gay in China. Yes, it's legal, but you may suffer from discriminations all the time. Um, and I used to cover politics for my newspaper, so I knew how hard it is to uh, make progress in a political way. That's why I decided to make this project in a business way. As long as we don't make things political in China, the content of the LGBT community will not be censored uh, by the government. So Pink Power is designed to be a bridge between the products and uh, LGBT customers. Uh, the reason that I name it Pink Power is not because the stereotype of gay people, it's just because the LGBT market is called the pink market or the pink economy. And uh, I hope this project can empower the sexual minorities in China. You can follow Pink Power on these four social media platforms, uh, but so far I'm more focusing on WeChat, which is the major social uh, media in China. And um, uh, you can also subscribe the newsletter on this landing page. So how can I connect uh, the products to LGBT customers? Here's a short demo. You go to WeChat, find Pink Power, and uh, enter the official account. It looks like an online magazine. And uh, of course, <laughs> and uh, here's a, an example. I wrote an article about a make makeup for men, especially the May um, consumers are gay men. So my my readers can get discount from this article, and they can if they want to try this product, and they can also share this article with their friends on WeChat. So who's my audience? Obviously, gay and lesbians who want high quality content so that they can try new products in this market. And another half of the audience are um, business owners who want to target uh, these LGBT customers. Let's take a look at the China's LGBT market. According to research, 5% of uh, the whole population is gay, so China has almost 70 million gay people. It is even more than the whole population of the UK. And China has the world's third largest uh, LGBT market in this world. It is valued at 300 billion US dollars per year. Um, but actually, we don't need to um, create every product, especially for LGBT people, because Besides sexual orientations, they are just no difference from straight people. S they only need products then that can help them to build their identities and protect them in their daily life because so far most of them are still living in the closet. So Pink Power can help promote these products to LGBT customers. This is my first revenue stream. And the other two are market research for business, business owners who, wa who want to target LGBT customers and to know better about them. And I can also um, organize entrepreneurship training for young LGBT people to encourage them to join this market. This is uh, the timeline. Uh, I show you what I've done for this project and uh, what's next steps. So I launched this project, this project in February and um, I'm working on the online marketing and the prototypes. Uh, the next year, I plan to reach uh, investors um, in China, include a uh, big company like Alibaba, and uh, also I will, I will focus more on the offline marketing and events. Uh, so far, uh, the, the pink market is still hidden in China, but at the same time, it is growing dramatically. Um, and uh, I look forward to seeing pink power growing with this market. Uh, we cannot have gay parade in China so far, but I hope that one day Pink Power can show you the strongest evidence that gay people should and would live with pride and dignity. Thank you very much. Yeah.